Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. A lot of people have been asking me, especially on Instagram, they've been asking me, anyone who follows me on Instagram has at least been asking me uh, about Procreate. And I know a lot of people, they, the biggest question everybody always asks is, is Procreate worth it? Is the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and the program Procreate is it worth it? Yes, I absolutely think it is. Procreate is on the App Store and I think it's like $10 now. When I got it, it was like $7.99 and they've got some new updates recently. And the, the really cool thing is that if you want more brushes, you can go and you can buy extra brushes and everything. So what I did was I jumped onto Instagram and I, from my one of my favorite Instagram artists, The Animated Life, she posted, she always posted draw this in your style. And I always try to do one of her draw this in your styles because it's just really, it's just a way for me to practice on Procreate. Now the fun thing about the Apple iPad with the Apple Pencil is I can take a picture of my actual artwork and then import it into Procreate and then I can draw over that sketch. So I can sketch everything out regularly, just normal way, because that's what I'm really comfortable with. I'm more comfortable drawing on paper as opposed to drawing on Procreate or with a tablet. And a lot of you might be like me. If you're not drawing on paper, everything's just a little weird. So you can see I go ahead and I put it into Procreate and I open it up and boom. I can start working on it and add some digital magic to my sketch. I can either leave the same background or add a complete other background to the sketch that I just created. In the past, I definitely have had some experience with digital art. I never really got into it, but I remember one year I was just crazy about it. And it was way before YouTube, before I even considered drawing on YouTube. But it was just a regular Cintiq Wacom tablet, and it's not one you could draw on or anything. Um, I just hooked it up to the back of my computer using a USB cord, and I had to look at my computer to see what I was drawing. And I used Corel Painter 2, and that's what really threw me off about digital art. I cannot stand looking up at my computer screen and having to see where my where my hands going like I, I have to look down I miss looking down and that's that was what was really huge for me when I got this iPad in 2017 from Santa Santa Claus brought me a iPad and he bought me a oh he didn't buy me he made it for me he made my Apple pencil he got me those things and I decided, I remember a long time ago, I was talking to my pastor and he had been watching my Instagram and my Facebook uh, art page for Dramatic Parrot and he said that he noticed I was getting really good at Disney drawing, just like Disney doodles and everything. And he said, you know what? You have mastered the Disney style. Now maybe you should jump into something else that you're not as good at, like realistic drawing. And I went, well, that's kind of stupid. Why would I do that? <laughs> so. I don't know, growing up now, I think of that wise sage advice and I want to apply it towards my actual art as in digitally. I, I, digital art has always scared me and even when I got the iPad, I still didn't know what I was doing when it came to digital art on Procreate. Even though Procreate was seeming very, very easy, just having everything right there in front of me on Procreate. And that's what's really nice about Procreate. They have everything. They have a smudger tool, which I didn't know how to use up until this past Christmas. I had been putting layers on top of layers and trying to use like a light smudge, a light brush to blend everything. I feel like an idiot. I had no idea where the smudger tool was and it was right there on top next to the pencil. <laughs> so. Procreate has everything, but at the same time, I wasn't good at it. I'm still not the best at it, but I want to be better at it. And that's why I just kind of like really buckled down and I tried to be better at Procreate. And I'm sure all of my Instagram followers are just tired of my digital doodles. They might be terrible looking. And I have noticed that. I've noticed that a ton that a lot of my likes on my I, especially on my digital art, have gone down. I It's surprising out of seven, uh, I mean, 67,000 followers, 
that I'd only I'd only get like 500 likes on my digital art. And I mean, I, that's okay. It doesn't bother me because I am trying to get better at an art form I'm not good at. And I'm, fi I'm trying to figure out different ways on how I can approach coloring. Like I'm using vine charcoal all over this whole entire drawing. I got some sponge brushes. I'm using sponge brushes. I'm learning how to use color dodge and how to shade properly and line. And I'm trying to use all these different techniques when it comes to digital art. And it's all coming from me looking at other artists that I really admire and trying to look at what they do for their digital art and apply it to mine. So yes, I think that this is the cheapest, best way to teach yourself how to do digital art instead of going out and buying an $800 Cintiq tablet from Wacom and purchasing a Photoshop subscription or purchasing, purchasing the whole thing all together, which is what, like five grand to purchase the whole Photoshop suite? I, I think it's ridiculous. And if you want to get into digital art, I've seen so many big artists that I admire from Disney using Procreate and they just make the cutest doodles and they always say that they're using Procreate. So yes, I think that if you want to get into digital drawing, like me, go ahead and get an iPad Pro if you have an iPad Pro, if your parents have an iPad Pro or a family member does, go and try it out, get an Apple Pencil and then buy Procreate. It's so worth it. It's worth the 11 $10 that it is. And just teach yourself how to do digital art. It's a long process, but any art form is a long process and it takes lots of practice. I'm practicing a lot. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And you know, I'm learning, everyone's learning. And I think it's important that we all push each other as far as it goes when it comes to furthering our art careers. I hope this helps everybody. And if you're considering an iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, and Procreate, just do it. Go for it. And if you have Procreate and an Apple, iPad, Pencil, everything, leave in the comments below how much you love it. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye!